I'm Michael Huang, and I recently took a ride in Pony AI's self-driving car in Guangzhou, China. Guangzhou is a very good testing ground. It's one of the most congested cities in the world. I would say if you can get a ride in Guangzhou, you might find it relatively easy for other cities. Pony AI is a self-driving startup. They have like a Chinese startup spirit to try to get into the next big thing. So we did two rounds of test drive, and the first round it was quite like smooth. But in the second round, uh, that's a bit more complicated. We were making a left turn. There was a car. Suddenly, it decided to you know just cut in. That's like one moment when I felt like you know I'm not sitting in a car that's controlled by a human. They explained that that harsh break was out of the consideration of like safety. So they are playing this relatively conservative card, and then they put like humans' comfort in the second place. But most of the time, I would say the car's performance uh, was pretty good. Actually, I just wrote something about like every big Chinese tech company want to be a self-driving car company. Um, it was actually not exaggerating. China is the biggest vehicle market in the world, and looking to this sort of like high technology to empower this not only made in China but also invented in China whole ambition. Like that fits into the playbook of China's rising superpower.